Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And here we are looking at some award semifinalists. We're at the 10th week of the season, nine games down. Uh, if you look at the Maxwell Lamar Jackson, no surprise here. And for my fellow Bronco fans, this is somebody that it looks like we might have a chance of getting. I mean, we're doing horrible this year. And I mean, all signs point to us having a top 15 pick and Lamar Jackson might be there for us to pick if he goes pro. He doesn't necessarily have to go pro, but I'm guessing he probably will. Baker Mayfield right behind him. And Baker Mayfield's a pretty good player. Uh, he does have some character issues, but nothing that, honestly, if I'm a GM, it wouldn't stop me from drafting him. I mean, because this guy is a winner. He plays hard. He puts up the stats. Uh, looking at the Walter Camp, Lamar Jackson once again. Uh... Benerick, uh looks like it's going to be Tony Brown, Denzel Ward, who's actually going to be one of the top uh, cornerbacks drafted in this next coming draft. Uh, let's see who else. Dunning from Texas A&M, pretty good corner as well. Uh, Nagurski, uh, it looks like Dorton actually is the top pass rusher in the nation right now. Uh, I'm looking for, uh, I forgot his name, but Harold something out of uh, Boston College. He's the top pass rusher in this in the draft in real life in the 2018 draft. Uh, but he's not nowhere to be found here. So O'Brien, O'Brien, uh, it's gonna be Lamar Jackson for the Walker, Doak Walker, uh, Carry On Johnson from Auburn, Bo Scarborough right behind him. Uh, Look at Geis. Geis is all the way down here. And you know who I don't see is Saquon Barkley. I don't know where he's at on this list. You would think that he's up there. Uh, Belitnikov uh, looks like Jeff Badet. Is that how you said? Badet. Uh, Washington, who's actually a really good receiver in real life as well. Um, let's see if I recognize any other, other name. Dante Pettis is a pretty good receiver as well. Um... I mean, a lot of these names aren't really big time names. I mean, these guys are good. Don't get me wrong, but uh, not the people that you expect to be up here. Uh, even they got they got a is that a Northwestern receiver up here? 77 overall junior is up here. He's killing nine touchdowns, 60 receptions. He actually has the most receptions out of anybody up here. 49, 46, 49. I think he has 60. So he's over here killing the game. Uh, the Mackey, it looks like. Uh, Let's just go through these really quick. See if we notice anybody up here uh, that's really supposed to be killing. That is killing in real life. Uh, I, I think Denzel Ward is the one guy on defense I see that really is going to be a top pick in real life and turning out to be pretty good in the game. Uh, I don't recognize any kickers and punters here. But look at this. Best returner. We got our boy Donovan Hale up here. Uh, you know, he hasn't really he hasn't returned a kick for a touchdown but i think the reason why i have so many kick return yards because i give up so many points so i get so many opportunities to return kicks so one of the guys that's been balling out for us is jonathan crawford and you know what is funny about this is that i ended up starting him over uh the original free safety and he took his spot i, I was playing with him in practice and stuff. i was like man he just looks better but honestly if we look back at our depth chart, which we'll look at a little later, um, I'm actually sitting a 98 awareness free safety, a senior, uh, to start Crawford here. So Crawford's actually balling out in this position. Maybe I can uh, get some packages in there where I can get Crawford at linebacker more and uh, start my se senior free safety. But let's just get him some gear really, really quick. Uh, let's give him some long sleeves. Let's see. Let's give him some long sleeves. You know, he's a beast, man. Let's give him a... He's got an Oakley on right now. Let's give him a dark Oakley there. Uh, I like the gloves on him as well. Uh, let's just look at his shoes here. So he's got tape shoes, um, which which is all right. We can, we can give him the tape shoes, but let's give him the flak jacket here. Let's make sure that uh, he's laying the boom with this these hits. Actually, let's, let's leave the flak jacket off. Uh, let's give him regular socks here. Let's give him low socks. Uh, since we give him the sleeves, we can give him low slot socks. So I kind of like this right here. We give him, uh, let's, let's make these, uh, wristbands. Ooh, let's tape the wrist here, man. Let's just hop into this gameplay, man. We're going up against Maryland and Maryland is a team that's in the middle of the pack. So we're not going to have an easy game by any stretch, but let's just get into this. Let's go.
the countdown to this Ohio State matchup. Only one more game, and Maryland is two and five in the conference. They're, I mean, they're four and five on the year. I mean, it's not a great team, but you know they're not horrible. So this is going to be a game we have to grind out take care of business on the road so that's what makes it more difficult it's on the road and uh as you can see you can see like my pre-play uh calling uh pre-snap calling uh the routes are all squiggly <laughs> i haven't unlocked any of those uh offensive gotcha, coordinator uh attributes traits whatever you want to call them so it's kind of difficult because I can't really I can tell if I hot route what routes but a lot of times they just look all mushed up together so I'm gonna have to take care of that once I get enough upgrades for that but as you can see on the first drive Robinson's getting a couple sacks there and Ramsey I need to get him going in the triple option because he's taking sacks early on in this game and there we go given the triple option Pitch to Timmy and on a third down, Ramsey is going to scramble and get the first down. And once again, third and seven here in the red zone. This time he's going to scramble once again and get the first down. So going to give the ball to Devontae Williams. He finds a hole up inside the five-yard line. And on the next play, Mike Majet gets the handoff up the middle for the touchdown. And what's funny is that, like, anytime I drive – down the field and then there we got Raekwon Jones getting a pick there and we're inside the 10 once again but like I was saying every time I get the ball uh to Devontae Williams and drive the field he gets like say 40 yards rushing on a drive it seems like Mike Majette always takes his touchdowns so here we are man we're up 14 nothing here in the early parts of this game after that pick on the screen and they're gonna start trying to move the ball here, throwing the ball because they're down 14, so they're just airing it out. I don't remember a lot of run plays they threw this game. So here they are, throwing to Rashad Fant, and on this one, that one's gonna be picked off the senior. It's gonna be hard to let go of him, especially because I do have Marcus Rutledge, that uh, that freshman athlete coming in. He His attributes are pretty good as far as man and zone coverage, but it's going to be hard to replace Rashard Fant, and mainly because nobody really throws to his side. And if you notice during our games, he doesn't get a lot of picks because nobody's testing him. So on that one, I mean, he gets a pick, but he's locking up a whole side of the field like Darrell Revis would in his prime. And, I mean, right now we're just cruising. 14 nothing in the red zone, but on a fourth and one, we try to run the ball. And we get it. Ramsey gets in for the touchdown. And this is going to be a 21-0 lead. This one's getting ugly pretty early. But Maryland's definitely not out of this game. They can definitely drive. Bruh. And Scales misses another pick off a of hill. And Hill is just not having a good game throwing the ball. I mean, just throwing the ball in the coverage. No regard at all. So here's Robinson once again shedding the block. He's having a huge game on the defensive end. And right away, he's got two tackles, a tackle for loss. So right away, he's got three tackles for loss. But once again, they're running the ball. Bruh. Look at that, man. They are The Heisman sliders are cheesing me right there. Harrison just breaks a tackle gets in for the touchdown and just like that it's a 21 7 lead but remember we have the almost all american Hale. he's gonna take this one back to the house and a bunch of wimpy tacklers are gonna miss on that one and donovan Hale, man what a great punt, kick returner and punt returner he is i mean he gives us great field position and this time he finds a way to get into the end zone. That says that's an NCAA record. And it says the longest was 90 yards up until that point. But I do not believe that. There's no way that it was 90 yards up until that point. So here they are, man. Maryland's getting the ball back. Back down by three scores at the end of the half. Trying to make something out of nothing. And here they are finding a receiver. Having all day to throw. That's where my pass rush Robinson was having a pretty good day pass rushing, but a lot of teams just kill us because they're I mean, Heisman quarterbacks just sit in the pocket, throw and have all day to throw, and they just find an open guy like with a perfect pass. So there they are, man, getting another touchdown. So now we're up 14 towards the end of the half. Rams gonna roll out right and slide down 
Make sure I avoid the hit on that one. So here's just 40 seconds left in this half. Second and four. Trying to make something. Throwing it deep. And that one's going to be picked off there by the Maryland defense. And I should have probably thrown a bullet to the outside. I don't know why I lobbed that one. I, was, I probably lobbed it because I was trying to get it over the top of those linebackers. But here with 30 seconds left, Hill is going to drop back to pass it once again. Robinson is going to get in for his third sack on the game that time. <laughs> I sent another blitz there, throwing it deep. But this one's going to be picked off by Marcelino Ball. Marcelino Ball has been a pretty good asset on the back end of our defense. I mean, he's just been all over the field. Remember early in the season, he was our sensation with tackling and getting big hits. He's kind of cooled off a little bit. Uh, the seniors have kind of taken over, but he's still getting it done at the safety position. So here they start off the second half, down two scores, and on a third and three converting there, getting past the 50-yard line, and once again, running a fake jet sweep, finding their man on the outside at the 20-yard line. So Hill is actually moving the ball on this drive, he has a clean pocket, and throws a slant route open. Uh, cannot force the fumble there or the drop pass by Crawford. And on the next play, Ty Johnson is going to get in for the touchdown. So now we're it's a seven-point game, man. They're, we're, they're right back in it. After being down 21 nothing. they're right back in this game, down by one score. But Devontae Williams finds a scene, and he is going to take this one all the way to the crib with a 62 yard run and just like that Devontae Williams started off this game pretty sluggish and he's recovered pretty nicely with that 62 yard run and anybody that knows if you play on Heisman difficulty it's it's incredibly difficult to make long runs in this game I mean I don't know what it is, but the, the computer is just so good at stopping the run, especially not letting you break it. It seems like they get a little burst of speed or they just play above their speed and they just catch you because Devontae Williams is like 80, I think he's 89 speed. And it seems like even linemen, like there's a play later in this game where I get a handoff and a lineman is just hawking me. I don't know what it is, but here we are once again. Marcelino Ball on the slant route, getting the pick. And, man, that's four picks for the Maryland offense in this game, and they're in trouble. I mean, this has been probably our best game as far as our secondary goes this season. Four picks. We haven't had this many, but on a first and ten here, Bruh. backed up into their territory we fumble the ball and they are going to get in for the touchdown and that was pretty much my fault I ran the speed option I tried to pitch it and that and the speed option isn't a play I run a lot but I decided to run it there and trust me I'm not going to run that play anymore I, I just I don't know I just have bad timing with the speed option so here we are Devontae Williams breaking it to the outside but getting caught by the safety there another long run and this is pro pr pretty rare I mean we, I don't really get these long runs a lot and <laughs> two and one game is a pretty good sighting I mean it's probably rare probably not gonna happen again it might happen again but we do get into the end zone with Mike Majette and we go up by another two scores so scoring 42 points in this game and our offense has been clicking lately it's been really clicking but i mean i know we've been playing some pretty bad teams so here hill is trying to make something out of nothing five minutes left in this game now he's got a third and two we stop him behind the line so they have to go for it on the fourth down and on the next play they're gonna hand it off to the running back we're gonna have him stop to the back round but backfield but look at he gets the first down after bouncing off <laughs> Our guy had so much penetration on that one, and they still get it. But you know that Heisman cheese. Look at that. Look at that stiff arm. I mean, ridiculous, this Heisman cheese. Look at all these tackles that he is breaking, getting a 30-yard reception on that screenplay. And remember that slant pattern that they ran earlier in the game? They went to the right side. So that time, I tried to cover up the right side. This time, they throw to the left, and they get in 
for the touchdown. So now it's back to a seven point game and we just have to milk the clock here. Give the ball to Devontae Williams. Let him go to work. So on the next play, we give the ball a jet sweep to Timian, and he's going to have an open lane to run down the sideline. A nice 31 yard gain. And now we're almost inside the red zone, driving the ball on a third and two, getting it inside on a read option. And Rams going to have an open lane to run, but Devontae Williams trips him up so he does not get in for the touchdown but on the next play i give my workhorse uh carry up the middle a two yard touchdown run and look here man if you pay attention here i'm like yo i need to get this game over with because man never play video games when you have somebody at your house you need to get something done because i tried to super sim and they score so now it's a seven point game and they kick the onside but smartly i fall there get the w seal it up and ramsey doesn't have a big day throwing the ball i don't think that's our formula i don't think our formula is to out throw and uh try to air raid the defense we need to run the ball because look at how many people touch the ball on the ground so many what was that six seven people touch the ground touch the ball on the ground but our defense this is the story of the game robinson gets three sacks Marcelino ball with two picks, four picks total by our defense. We need it going up against Ohio State next week. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. It's going to be a tough game next week, but we're going to try to get it done.